What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be going over my most expensive outfit. And now that means I'm gonna be taking shoes, pants, shirt, and a jacket that are my most expensive, no matter how they look together and see how they look together as an outfit. And I'm gonna break down each different piece of the outfit. The total that I came up with already was $1,700 after I looked it up and researched a little bit. So we're gonna talk about that as well. But basically you're gonna to get to see my most expensive clothing pieces as well as we'll be maybe looking at some of my favorite clothing pieces because I know a lot of you guys will know about that too. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now this video might seem like a flex, but honestly, I'm not trying to flex that I have money at all. I'm just showing you guys the most expensive pieces that I have because I wanna show you guys that you don't really need to buy the most expensive pieces to have a lot of good outfits because you guys have seen, I put together tons of outfits for cheap alternative prices. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the different pieces and a lot of them you might be surprised that I didn't spend too much on my most expensive well, you know, pant or something like that. So you guys will see coming up, but I just wanna let you guys know first. Two pieces out of this outfit are from the same company. You guys will find out why in a minute, but the first one I wanna break down is the jacket. Now I've got a bunch of different jackets that go for a decent price range from maybe $100 to $150 because they're a little bit more expensive when you get into the jacket realm. But this jacket right here is actually selling for more than all of those and that is because it has a little bit of resale. Now it doesn't have too much per se. So this originally retailed at $148. I paid $158 and it sold out in four seconds and that is the supreme patch logo hoodie so if i can get this all i don't know what just happened with this so basically it has just a nice patch logo on the side so typically with supreme you take a box logo here those are even more impossible to get but this one just has a nice little patch here which i like it's different it's very simple and i don't know how i got this because basically it said my cart was empty like i needed to empty the stuff out of my cart because everything was out of stock and then I got to order confirmation a few minutes later. This was really my first type Supreme purchase I was able to get because I had some help from my friend Jacob Starr, but it's a very simple hoodie, but now they're selling for 300 to $325. Now, when I talk about these prices, some of you guys might be able to find them cheaper in certain places. The prices that I'm looking at are basically the average that I find online on different websites like eBay and Grailed and whatnot like that. Mainly I've been looking at eBay and looking at sold listings to see what's been sold and what people are paying for them. So specifically the black one I've seen at 300 to even $350. Different colorways are going for cheaper, like the green one was going for like 290 or something like that. But specifically the large and extra large size in the black were going for 300 to 325. So that's why I put it in that type of price range. And it originally was 158, so it's basically double the price now. But this is my most expensive jacket if I were to go and purchase it right now. And I mean, I understand it's supreme, and I honestly forgot that I had this, to be honest, because it's been summer, and this is a very thick hoodie, and it is good quality, but it's very thick, so I have not even had a chance to wear it. So, so I'll probably be wearing this more when the fall time comes up, but I'm pretty happy with it because it is a very simple, nice jacket. I honestly would prefer to have a box logo, who wouldn't, but I won't pay the price for a box logo. I won't pay 600, 800,000, whatever colors, they're gonna be that price. I like this, it's very simple, and I mean, it's good for the winter time. I think when I got a little bit of use out of it in the end of the winter time, or whenever I was able to wear it, it was a good use out of it, and I mean, would I pay $325 right now for it? Honestly, probably not, but I'm happy with the 150 that I paid. Next part of the outfit that I wanna break down is going to be the pants. Now, this one was a little bit different because I feel like a lot more people would think I would have spent more money on pants because there's one pan out there that is extremely expensive that sells for like $1,000. You actually can get pairs now at like $600, but that is a fear of God denim, but I never ended up buying a pair of them because I could not justify spending that much money on one single pair of denim. And that's why I ended up branching out and just buying multiple pairs of different denim. So I had a variety rather than sticking with one for that price point because I'm honestly glad I didn't now because I don't wear distressed denim as much, but I do have one pair similar that is one of my most expensive denim purchases. So I have a few pairs here. The reason I have multiple pairs is because the prices are pretty similar when it comes to them. I have three pairs from other UK, then I have one from Mint Crew. So these pants right here are the ones that are similar to the Fear of God style, and these sell for $125 if you get the regular zippers or $225 if you get the nicer Riri zippers. These ones are actually just the regular zippers. Now, I think their denim has changed a little bit since times because I could purchase this a long time ago, and the denim seems a little bit different than the newer one because I had the black pair, and it was a little bit different. The zippers are a little bit different, but this pair right here was $125 and I bought it, and it has the knee blowouts right there, as well as it has the thigh blowout right there, and then it has these zippers down by the bottom. Now, these offer a really nice stack, and that's why I like these. These are one of my favorite pair of distressed denim because it has a super long zipper, and the pants were extra long, so you get a really nice stack. So I was very happy with these at the time, 
but I do not wear these as much. I actually did wear them the other day just to kind of get a feel for wearing zipper denim again and as well as wearing the knee blots because as you guys know, I haven't been wearing them as much lately. And I'm not mad that I bought them at all because at the time they were selling out and they still sell out from Mint Crew to this day. And at the time I was wearing zipper denim and knee blots a lot and I wanted to find that really nice pair of denim without having to spend that six, $700 or $1,000 at the time. So I was very happy with these. It has a really nice wash. I just don't wear them as much anymore. The rest of the pants are from other UK. Now I thought these are gonna be the most expensive because they're at $127, but after looking it up and seeing the price exchange, these are both more expensive. These actually go for the same price, and one is the blister denim, and one is a knee blow denim. So this is their blister denim, if I believe the name is correct, and I'll put the right name up on the screen if I did get it wrong, but they just have like little cuts throughout, and it has no zippers, and they're a nice taper, and they're a little bit longer, and these were 110 pounds, so it was like $142, $147 with the price change. Now that makes it my most expensive denim, as well as these right here. Here, so they're both white. I guess that's just the most that I have. They have the knee blowouts and these have the zippers. Now, would I say that these are worth that being the most expensive price point? Other UK has really good quality items. Like all their stuff is amazing quality and I've been rocking with them forever. Even these are amazing quality. I think the quality is good, but the price is a little bit high. And I know a lot of you guys don't like to spend that higher price point. That's why I offer cheaper alternatives to things. I would say that this is a pair that I'd probably spend another $125 on because this is a 15 ounce denim. It's a very heavy denim. The zippers are really, really nice and I just really like the overall build of these. I'm not sure exactly how the pairs are today, so that's just for this pair specifically. But then the track pants as well, these are amazing quality. These come out to like $127, which is good, but you just gotta decide if you want to get more quality or just spend a little bit less and get more of a quantity. Next piece up is going to be the t-shirt. Now, this is surprisingly pretty expensive. Now, there is one thing about this that I might honestly have a more expensive item being picked up tomorrow, and if I do, I'm gonna throw that in this video somehow. I don't know how, but I'm probably gonna include it or I might make a separate video out of it because it is almost double the price of this. But I have this right now and this is the most expensive piece. So that is gonna be the Supreme Motion Logo tee. Now, like I said, there are gonna be two things from Supreme and this is the second one. Now this shirt right now is selling for around 200 to $220. You guys can look that up, the gray colorway specifically. I know that some go for cheaper. There are fake ones all over eBay, so some selling for $25, but obviously those are not real. This one is around $220, I would say, if you're going for the color and the size of this. This is a size large. It might be a little bit cheaper, and that's your guys' opinions. If you guys can find the cheaper prices, I hope you guys can find it cheaper, but i just been seeing them. Some go for 160, some are up there at like 280, so I'm just putting them around 200 to 220. That's just the price range I'm looking at which this is such a simple t-shirt and it is nothing of crazy quality. Everybody's saying that Supreme got their blanks from American Apparel with all the stuff coming out of Kohl's, so I'm not sure about that. Would I pay $220 again? I don't know. This one, I probably would've gotten a size extra large this size. I bought this used actually, so I didn't even get that for that high of a price. I actually got this from a homie on Instagram. I put his Instagram up on the screen. I still think he sells some stuff on there. This was a while back. This is a t-shirt right here. Obviously, if I put on the sweatshirt with the app, you won't be able to see this, but this is a nice shirt. If you guys are curious what the motion logo looks like, you can't even really tell that it says Supreme that much. Uh, let me see if I can get that in there. Yeah, it just kind of like blurs it out. It's a motion logo. I know that the box logo sell for a lot more, and I would say 200 bucks for a box logo would be a good price, but obviously a lot of them sell for more. But I think this is a nice t-shirt. It's different. I get a lot of comments on this shirt, so I'm happy with it. The last aspect of the outfit is going to be the shoes, and now this is something that was the most expensive part of it and it is still to this day the most expensive shoe purchase I've ever made. So they are the Yeezy 350 Boost Oxford Tan, which are super beat up. Now I made this purchase on January 16th, 2016, literally a year and a half ago, and it was also the first Yeezy slash like real sneaker pickup that I made for something that sells for a crazy amount of money. When I was younger, I had Jordans and different shoes like that, and I've had shoes that are a little bit more hyped before this, but this is the most expensive that I've purchased, and honestly, I'm happy with the purchase. Now, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna try to put up on the screen my eBay order details. So, I paid $820 for these shoes. Now, I really, really wanted these shoes, like really bad. I just wanted the shoes because this is my favorite colorway. I always had my eyes on it and I was never able to get it. I even had my dad go with me when they did the raffle for these and we both tried to get a pair and we could not get a pair. I've never gotten a pair of Yeezys for retail, but these right here, are still my favorite shoes probably, and they're the most expensive. Now they sell for about $1,000 brand new. So the price has gone up a little bit because at that time they're going for around $800, somewhere we're at 750. 
At the time, I was looking for like a size 10, 10 and a half, and they were going for more. And so I settled for a nine and a half, which is kind of crazy that these fit because I wear a size 11 in the new Yeezys, the V2s, and they're a little bit tight. And these are a nine and a half, which is absolutely crazy. But when I do wear these, I wear them without the insole just because I want them to fit a little bit better. They're not as snug but I think they stretched a little bit as well. So a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, what if you got fake shoes? And some of you guys might think these are fake. Let me tell you right now, I did every authentication process. So with the Yeezys, you can tell on these ones with the insole right here on the back side of it, the way that that looks, you cannot really tell on the V2s, but these, that's something you could tell by because they didn't really perfect that on the fakes. Now they're like perfecting the fakes, which is so hard to tell, but these, it's a little bit easier. And what I did to tell you guys how I know that these are not fake is that the guy sent me his license to show me that the order confirmation had the same name on it. And the order confirmation from Adidas can be fake because it was an online order. But since he sent me his license, what I did is I went on adidas.com and I asked them to let me know what was in that order. So I had to have the address and I had to have the name and all the order number and all that kind of stuff, which I did have. So I basically said I ordered two different shoes and I'm trying to find which confirmation goes with which. And so I was on the chats with them. And I said, here's my confirmation number, here's my address, and here's my name. Can you remind me what shoe I purchased? And they said Yeezy 350 Boost Oxford Tan on this date, which lined up exactly with the order confirmation. So if that order is in footlocker.com from the order confirmation, from the address, from the name, there's no way that they're fake because literally footlocker.com has in their records. And I did all the authentication processes with it. Everything lines up. So that's how I knew that they're real. And I had no worries after that because I know how much fakes were out there and people are getting scammed left and right. I got scammed way back in the day when I was purchasing them. And that's why I made a video a long time ago showing you guys how to tell if the shoes are real or fake. So basically that's all the aspects of the outfit. I'm gonna try to throw it on together maybe with some of the different denims. And so you guys can see what it looks like. Just some different clips, throw an overlay clips or maybe throw them with some music. Let me know if you think any of these stuff down here is worth it for purchase if you would spend what I I spend on them or you would spend what the resale value is on them because I know a lot of you guys like these different pieces or you might not like them but I think these are some some of those are my favorite pieces like that supreme t-shirt is a really nice piece and I really like it I don't wear all the pieces all the time but I do like them and honestly the one that I wear the most would be probably the supreme motion logo because I don't wear the other stuff as much but these actually yeah these is what I wear all the time like look at the bottom of these look how beat these are like I did not care when I got them I said I'm gonna wear these shoes and I do not care at all but I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below if you want to see anything else like this, maybe like a video of my favorite outfit that I have or my favorite top five outfits or something like that where I put them all together. Let me know about that. But if you enjoyed, again, leave a like down below and I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison no signing out. I used to